My name's Richard Bray. This is Grogar Farm Tragony. We do dairy farming here. It's a family farm. Been in the been in the family for uh, a couple of generations now. Farm with my granddad and uh, me and the family farm here now. Um, we milk about 150 Holstein Friesian milking cows and rear other young stock and beef stock. So we keep about 400 head of stock and farm about 350 to 400 acres of, uh, of farmland. It's a nice part of the world. It's a, it's a windy part of the world. Dairy farming is quite um, quite energy intensive, I suppose. Milking time and refrigeration of milk is what takes our energy principally. We milk early in the morning and later in the afternoon stroke evening. Um, so people said to me, why don't I put up a PV unit perhaps, but it's dark in the morning and it's dark in the evening. So when I want my energy, um, it wouldn't be really relevant. Whereas hopefully with the wind turbine, the, the wind blows 24 hours a day um, and it's not worried if it's dark. So when we've got those intense periods of time needing the power, um, the wind is still able to blow. We looked at a few options with regards to the actual manufacturer of the turbine as well as the installer. Um, we come round after a little bit of searching around, we, we came back to the endurance as was the way forward for us. It's obviously a machine that had been out on the on the ground in Cornwall here previous to us purchasing them one. There's a, there's a, there was some already up and running and the feedback from those people was they were pleased with it and basically doing what they're supposed to and providing the energy that they're supposed to, you know, according to the, the figures. And yeah, it has done so far. So, so, so far, so good. Well, after the initial investment of the first turbine, um, even though it's only been a short, short time period that we've had it, I was, you know, confident enough in its output uh, and its performance, and basically looking pretty reliable as well. Um, so far, so it's been very good. So, took the plunge to to go for a second turbine. There's a couple of people who've come up to me and said, actually, it looks quite nice. It's not um, too offensive to look at, and and if I'm honest, that was part of my reason for going for the endurance. I think it is quite an aesthetically um, pleasing turbine. You've got to live within a community and try and uh, work within that community and and do things responsibly within it. And the endurance turbine to me is a size that's it's big enough to actually do some good and generate a reasonable amount of electric uh, and power, but not too big that it's going to be majorly impacting on anybody um, from a visual aspect or, or sound aspect. If you look around the horizon, um, there's a number of uh, endurance turbines you can see, depending on where you stood on the farm, I think the most we can see at one point is eight um, endurance turbines. They blend in quite well to the countryside and, and, and the surrounding area. From Endurance's point of view, they got a good product for that. And from the the owner of the turbine's point of view, it, it does does what it has to do and, and, and what you need it to do to, to, to be viable. I think they look all right and they look, well, they look more than all right. They look good. <laughs> 